Shares of Amira Nature Foods are up 25% in the past month. That's got me thinking a lot of people are eating basmati rice. Here to talk about rice and the shares is the company's CEO, Karan Chanana. Welcome, Karan. Thanks, Greg. All right, so last month you reported net income that doubled, sales up 40%. So what's driving it? A lot of people eating basmati rice? Absolutely. Basmati is a super grain. You know, it's classified as such with its great aroma, taste, and the property is pearly white hue. And what most people don't know is that it's amazingly good for you and healthy. It has no cholesterol. It has the lowest glycemic index. It's allergy free. Okay. And over on top of that, it's even sustainable for the planet. Basmati rice uses just over half the water ordinary rice does. Not only does it taste great, it's healthy for you and for the planet. So sales are up. You know, we have a lot of industry tailwind as well. The, uh, we have 12% volume CAGR growth in our industry and 5 to 7% va uh, value CAGR growth. And we at Amira are just doing a better job. We're just doing more of what we no normally do. And where are most of those sales coming from? Big in India, but what about here in the US? You have a deal with Costco. Can you also get into Walmart? Where can people buy your rice right now? We sell into 40 countries. 25 of those countries have the Amira brand. This growth is coming from India, emerging markets, Middle East, and the US. We look at the US as low hanging fruit for us. We're currently in about 160 Costco's over there, four divisions with the Amira brand. So you can buy it all over the West Coast and uh, the Atlanta division, which covers Miami. And we're also in Smart and Final, Jetro, to name a few others. And soon we are going to be hitting the mainstream. You talk about Walmart, we are in Walmart in India. Unlike here, Walmart is a premium retailer in India and Amira is the number one brand. And how is the falling rupee affecting your sales? It's, it's affecting everything when it comes to India right now. The falling rupee is a recent phenomenon. Okay, we have a headwind from, on our translation because we hedge all our international sales. So the noise is only in the translation. And our business is unique. Basmati rice is aged for 12 months. So with the aging brings about the transparency and the natural hedging. So our business is immune to it to a large extent. And you're based in Dubai, right? I'm based in Dubai. Our corporate office is in Dubai. Our uh, production facilities are in India. And we have offices here in California, London, Dubai, and in the Far East. So it's a global company. Now, you went public last year at $10 a share. Stock sank all the way down to 6 over the course of the past year. It's now back up to 10 so it's been a big round trip. What happened over the course of the, of the year? See, there aren't enough Indian management teams coming out there. We are one of two IPOs with, uh, from companies primarily based out of India. Total 13 companies from India listed. That's one. Secondly, I don't think everybody understood the growth story. Our common theme across our investors has been everybody wants emerging market, high growth, but wants to see it in their backyard. Right. So part of that, and uh, I, we still feel our shares are, are traded at less than half of what their value is. And there are enough comparisons out there within the industry. and uh, complementary uh, food segments to prove that. Well, now you're getting the story out and you can see it in the stock. Thanks a lot for coming Thanks on. Thanks a lot, Greg. Pleasure. And thank you for watching The Street.